It's a nightmare scenario for any scuba diver, being separated from the group and getting lost at sea. But this new invention could put an end to that for good. Here we have three boys and six diver units. It's called the Underwater Information System, or UIS. Berti Arvonen is one of its creators. This is a ultrasonic sensor here and works exactly like a boy as well. It makes a connection to, to the PC. Today, Perti plans to test the system in the cold, dark waters of the Baltic Sea. He'll be joining the Nautic Sport Diver Club of Finland on a hunt for a ship that went down more than 140 years ago. Our aim is to find a way how we can support these guys when they try to find a wreck. The name of the ship is Jean Bart. It's a French from uh, Granville. There was nine men abroad. It was a huge storm when it sunk. The Jean Bart met its maker near the town of Turku. All nine members survived to tell their tale. The information was that Jean Bart sank at 6th of October, 1875, half mile east from Tjökarsöre. If the weather is clear, we will find it. They begin with side scan sonar, searching the bottom for anomalies, before jumping in to take a closer look. That's when the US system takes over. This is the first time we use this system together with the divers and the sonar system. We have to find the, the methods, how to use the new technology in the existing systems. So that's uh, exciting. Normal GPS relies on radio signals, which don't reach very deep underwater. Instead, the buoys triangulate ultrasonic data to pinpoint each scuba diver. But US is much more than just underwater GPS. The system can track up to 100 divers simultaneously. It's even possible to send text messages from the surface to the tablets down below. The dive team knows that if they find it, the shipwreck won't be full of gold and treasure. That's not what this mission is about. Most important for us, it's a new wreck. It's uh, information what happened at 1875. It's a time capsule. They've got little to show for their first three dives, but spirits are still high until the US signal drops out. We lost the, the Bluetooth connection from our device to tablet. I'm not sure why. A momentary glitch, and they're back in business. So there was a rock between the boys and the divers, so there was a long period when there was no information, so probably that was the reason. The search for the Jean Bart continues. Half a day gone. Between the dives, we have been scanning the area with the side scan sonar. And we have found an interesting area where you can't say if it's a wreck or something else. At last, they find something. When you go diving and you know something like that, it's here. We are close. First you see one piece of wood, and second piece of wood. It's maybe a must. And when you come to the wreck, it's, it's something special. Pieces of the ship are strewn across the bottom. They can't say for certain that it's the Jean Bart, but it's definitely an undocumented shipwreck. With the US, they mark the precise GPS coordinates of each part of the ship. With the help of UIS, we also were able to get basic idea of the wreck field and basic measurements of the wreck. The system even embeds the location information directly into the metadata of the video clips. Now we know a couple of things to improve. In the end, this trip was excellent and we are happy with the results. They found a ship and no one got lost. For Perti and the dive club, it's a huge win. Now we have enough information to start planning what to do next. Probably we want to make a 3D model of the wreck so we could finally identify what wreck it is. This is the starting point.